Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can execute functional test with the help of Splinter test framework, which is written in Python, and with the help of which you can execute your functional web tests. In order to work with Splinter, you need to have Selenium installed. You can install the Selenium on your Linux machine by typing sudo app-get install selenium for my machine it is already installed so I don't have to do all this but those of you don't have it installed I suggest running this command after that you have to install splinter by typing sudo pip install splinter <coughs> after that <coughs> we will write a sample code here I have this code already written where we are importing browser module from splinter after that we are creating instance of browser and then we are passing website URL with the help of visit method. After that, we are checking if the browser text has Google as title. If it is, then it will print, yes, the official website was found. If it is not, then no, it wasn't found, is the message that will be printed on screen. After that, browser will quit and then you will be able to see the result in terminal ok so let's execute this script ok so it will open firefox browser even though it's very small because it is web driver instance it is checking the title and it is closing the window after that you can see it prints the message and the prompt is returned so our test here it passed by going through the documentation you can check some other additional functions also you can check the driver here for example if we have here is chromium there are also specific statements that you can execute for the chromium also if you just want to restrict your testing to firefox you can have basic browsing interactions like navigation you can find elements mouse interactions interacting with element and form so that you can execute login logout and account creation related scripts after that there are elements in the page that you want to match and then print out you can manipulate cookies also you can execute javascript and other error related and exception related stuff suggest reading this documentation once so that you can get the idea of how you can execute your functions test with the help of this library 
we also have a community code contribution page and also a guide on how you can set up development environment like all the libraries that are required so pretty much everything is covered here on their website and it is a very good test framework that you can use for instantly testing your functional test scripts I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Bye.